Alright, um, here goes my punishment. For the record, I hate you. This is the sign I made. I know you said it had to be bigger than a piece of paper, but honestly, you're lucky that I found a piece of paper, highlighters, and a pen to write this with because there are no supplies in this condo. So, here goes. Em, I hate you very much. I'm <laughs> Em, I get to see my video on time. Wah! There's this lady over there staring at me. Most people aren't even looking, they're just walking along the water and looking out at the water. So, I'm okay with that. Um, but I'm done with this. Time to go swimming. Here I am, back from vacation. Good times were had. I'm gonna show you some of the stuff that we did while on vacation. Yay! We went mini golfing, but my sister and I got a little bored, so among the sword fights and Jedi lightsaber battle, we made obstacles for our parents. Bravo, win. It's starting to look like a triple win. <laughs> I'm going to take that shot. Here we go. You can't, you can't just keep going rhythmically. There we go. <laughs> so my dad is a huge fan of a pretzel cone. Now, if you don't know what that is, he is about to explain it to you. A pretzel cone, a five cents experience. Number one, touch. You can feel the bumps. Uh, so zoom Number in two. on it. Number two. <laughs> Smell. Smell the cone. Smell. Smell. It does. It smells good. It smells. It smells like pretzel. Nice. Number three. Sight. Wow, that's an attractive looking cone, isn't it? That's a beautiful cone. I like to take that cone home with me. <laughs> Number four. Taste. Mmm. Tastes like pretzel. What's the fifth sense? Here. Oh, let's hear it. Listen, everybody be quiet. It's so loud. It's crunchy. Crunchy dies when you have it. Five cents experience. Life's full of them. Okay, I just realized I haven't watched your video from whenever you just made it. I'm gonna go do that. Movie magic. I'm back. Books. In the amount of time since my last video and this one, I have started and finished Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde by Robert Louis Stevenson. And let me say... This was a great book. Oh my goodness. I can see why it's been read since, uh, when was this published? 1886. It is fantastic, and it is such a good story, and he's so good at telling it. Oh, like, I had never read this before, but I've, I've seen interpretations, and this has exceeded my expectations. So, I haven't really started another book yet, because Jekyll and Hyde, I just finished it yesterday. Um, and I gave up on White Oleander, I just couldn't get into it, so the next book I'll probably read is Love's Labor's Lost by the famous William Shakespeare. And I don't think you're a bad nerd for not liking The Hobbit, it's just some people just don't like it. I mean, you're not a bad nerd because of it, so don't feel bad. M, your next challenge, even though you didn't give me one, what's with that, uh, is to build a sandcastle of epic proportions. So, it can't just be like a little amount of sand with a flag. Uh uh, the dust got it. You gotta build me a rockin' sand castle. While in New Jersey, we went to the boardwalk, and on the boardwalk, there are tons of shops that are all extremely similar. But my sister and I bought these wrap skirt thingies, and they're really cool. Because now I have a cape. On the way back from Cape May, we stopped to have lunch with my grandparents, my aunt, my uncle, and two of my cousins, um, because it, is my, it was my grandparents' 60th wedding anniversary, which is extremely impressive. Congratulations to them. Like They are amazing. They are great grandparents, and 60 years is quite an accomplishment. But my grandma got me, my sister, and my two cousins these frames with our family in it because, you know, it's just, I guess, what she wanted to do. Um, it was, it's really nice, like, I, I love it. She, she gave them to us and said, now you guys can all look at these when, when you're at college, because one of my cousins is just, just going to college this year. My grandma said, you can all look at these when, when you go to college, and you can think of us, and think of your family, 
And if there are any temptations, you can look at this and resist them, and I, you know what temptations there are, but you can just look at this and think of your family. And my sister goes, oh, so it's like a guilt trip in a frame. So, guilt trip in a frame, right here. Em, I'm excited for you to come home, and, and else we'll see each other soon, which is super awesome. And to the rest of you, I will see you later. Look, koala slippers, so cool!